Hey, this is a special video being released both by Medio Scientific and Gristle King. And this video is to help you migrate your devices over from the Helium console to the Medio Scientific ChirpStack console. My name is Nick Hawks, and I would really appreciate if you would cruise on down and like and subscribe this video, whether you're on the GK site or over on MetSci. Uh, this really helps me continue to create these videos and help you out. So hit the like, subscribe. If you see something in here that is useful to you, please share it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna migrate a device over from Helium console to the Medio Scientific ChirpStack. We're gonna start over on Helium console on the device that we wanna use. In this case, this device is a weather station. It's a device that for me has used a bunch of packets over time, so I'm gonna push it over to the uh, Metsai console. Uh, my funny goal there is to see if I can be in the top three for all data data credits used with Metsai, but uh, pretty unlikely, but we're gonna give it a good shot. So we're over here on um, Helium console and I'm gonna choose this device, and I've already done this part, but we're gonna add a label. And this label is the label that you need to migrate over. So I call this metsci-demo-migrate. So that's my label I'm gonna use. You just gotta remember it. You don't have to do anything else uh, crazy with it. We're gonna cruise back to our ChirpStack instance. So there's the Medio Scientific ChirpStack one. And I'm gonna go up to the very top right here and hit, um, the little head button, and then migrate from legacy. So it walks you through what to do here. All you got are your tabs up at the top, um, and we're just gonna follow those tabs. And what we need to do first is generate a key. So we're gonna um, generate a, sorry, an API key over at Helium console. So it tells you what to do, it doesn't tell you where to do it. We're gonna go back to Helium console. We're gonna go up to the top right, uh, to the My Account section here and we are going to generate a key. We're gonna call this key name, this will be Metsci Demo uh, Console Migration. So name it what makes sense to you. The key role is gonna be administrator, and we're gonna generate that key. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that key. Okay, so now you see it's created, but before this thing is activated, and you can see right here, it says that it is false. You have to go to your email, open up your email and you will see and activate your API key. You're gonna hit a little blue button that says activate your API key. I know you can't see any of this stuff, that's totally fine. And that will bring you back to console and now your key is activated. So important step there, make sure that it says true right here. So once you have your key, you're gonna cruise back to Medio Scientific. We've got our API key, we're gonna copy it in here. And I'm gonna select the console, it's gonna be the Helium console. I'm gonna say connect. It will connect that up. So now I'm connected to Helium Console. I'm gonna select the correct tag. Remember we set this tag up over in Helium Console. It, mine was metsci-demo-migrate. So just make it super easy on yourself. And then it will say there is one device to be migrated. That's the weather station. The integration that we wanna apply, we'll see if we can apply this uh, Medio Scientific Terabella. That's sending it out to app.medio scientific, something else that we'll cover in another video. But for right now, we'll just see if we can get this thing to uh, work auto magically. I'm gonna go select that function. It says function is ready, great, I'm clicking that. I come back, it says select tenant. I want it to import into the Metsai demo account. I am gonna go ahead and use US 915 over the air. So I, I selected the uh, correct one here. And uh, I don't have an application, so we're gonna add a new application, a weather station. I'll call it S2120, there we go. Cool, and we'll hit select. And then we'll finally go down to device migration. And what should happen is selecting it to select the device to be migrated, so it's an S2120, I'm gonna select that one. It's just double checking we've got everything right, the 915, et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna say go ahead and fire those guns and we get a green check mark. So. That should be it. And we know that we may need to power cycle it, so I may need to head out and uh, get that sucker running. But I will say that over on Helium console, and we go over here, and you'll see that it's not sending anything anymore, but it was sending uh, something every, it's a 20 byte packet, and it was sending it, geez, so 324, 22, 20, 18, every two minutes. We'll see if this thing pops up over on Medio Scientific. So that's how you migrate a, um, 
a device from Helium Console over to the Medio Scientific Chirp Stack. Rock and roll! <laughs>